Hello everyone, I am Dr. Saundara Raj. I am very happy to interact with you all through this video. In this video, I am going to discuss with you a problem and its related solution in the topic cost volume profit analysis. This problem will take us through the calculation of PVR, break even point sales, sales to earn a desired profit, profit from a given amount of sales, calculation of fixed cost and margin of safety when the data for two half years of a business enterprise given. These are all a couple of details related to my career. After you watch the full video, if you find the video beneficial to you, give a like to the video, do subscribe my channel and click the bell button so that you get the notifications of my future videos. Let's get into the problem. AG Limited furnished you the following related to a particular year. First half of the year is the title for this particular column. Second half of the year is the title for the other column. Sales for the first half of the year is 45,000 and cost for the same period is 40,000. Regarding the second half of the year, sales is amounted 50,000 and the cost is amounted 43,000 rupees. If you subtract total cost from the sales of the given period, you will come to know the profit earned by the business in that particular period. Assuming that there is no change in prices and variable cost and that the fixed expenses are incurred equally or evenly in the two half year periods. Calculate for the given year the PVR, fixed expenses, break even point sales and percentage of margin of safety on sales. So the important point to be understood here is there is no change in the selling price and variable cost in the whole year. And similarly, fixed expenses are incurred evenly or equally throughout the year. Therefore, there will not be any difference between the fixed cost related to the two half year periods of the business enterprise. Now, let's calculate profit volume ratio with a formula. In this problem, the formula for calculating PVR could be changes in profit or contribution divided by changes in sales into 100. Prior to that, let us prepare a small statement through which we can come to know the profit for the two half year periods of the business. Now, sales for the first half year 45,000 minus 8 it's cost 40,000. It gives us 5,000 rupees profit for the first half year. The second half year sales is 50,000. Less cost for the period is 43,000. Therefore, the balance 7,000 rupees is a profit. Now, what is the change in sales and profit? Regarding sales, it was 45,000 in the first half year. The second one, it is 50,000. Therefore, you find the difference of 5,000 rupees. And similarly, with regard to cost, let us not worry. With regard to profit, you find it was 5,000 rupees in the first half year. Now, it is 7,000 rupees. Therefore, you find the difference of 2,000 rupees in profit. Let's apply the changes in profit and changes in sales in the formula for calculating PVR. Change in profit divided by change in sales into 100. 2000 rupees divided by 5000 rupees into 100 gives us 40% as profit volume ratio. Now regarding contribution during the first half year, unless you come to know the contribution for any one period, you can't calculate the fixed cost. If you find out the contribution from a given amount of sales from the contribution of that particular period, you can subtract its profit so that the balance of the contribution is nothing but fixed expenses for the period. That is what the idea behind calculating contribution during the first half of the year. Now, what is the formula for calculating contribution from the given amount of sales? Sales into PVR. Now, 45,000 is a sales for the first half year. So, 45,000 into, you can even take the sales related to second half year, but you have to subtract the profit of the second half year from the contribution you calculated on the sales of second half year. That is the only thing you need to be very sure of. So, 45,000 into 40% it gives us 18,000 rupees contribution for the sales of the first half year. From the contribution 18,000, if you subtract profit for the period, you come to know 13,000 rupees as the fixed expenses for the first half year. Since the fixed expenses are incurred evenly or equally throughout the year, 
what you can do the fixed expenses for the first half year could be multiplied with 2 so that you come to know the total 26000 as a total fixed cost of the business for the whole year and that's what about this particular working the next one is about break even sales for the year break even sales will be the same for both the years so fixed cost divided by pvr fixed cost 26000 for the whole year divided by 40% it's uh, nothing but 65000 rupees so for the given year break even point in the problem is 65000 rupees now the next one is about margin of safety what is the formula for calculating margin of safety sales minus break even sales sales for the whole year is 95000 break even sales for the whole year is 65000 therefore the difference between the two 30000 is margin of safety now we are asked to calculate percent of margin of safety on sales margin of safety divided by sales for the year into 100 will give us percent of margin of safety on sales 30000 divided by 95000 into 100 it gives us 31.5 percent as margin of safety as a percentage on sales now the notes are given down here that's what i explain since the fixed expenses are incurred equally throughout the year whatever the fixed expenses you calculate for one period could be multiplied with the two so that you come to know the total fixed expenses for the whole year and the same thing is you know done over here the second point speaks about the total sales if you add the sales for the first half year and the second half year together you get the sales for the whole year and that is what we have done i hope i have explained this particular problem and its related solution to your level of understanding thanks for your time to watch this video i'll meet you in another video bye for now everyone